Good morning everyone. Today we're going to do a glitter liner look perfect for fall and I'm also going to show you how to get some nude glittery lips continuing the glitter theme all over the eyes. So I have my full face done. It's really really simple because I want the attention to go to the eyes and lips and other places. Um, so yeah it's just really clean makeup and let's get started. For today's look I'm using the Anastasia Renaissance palette. This palette it is beautiful it also kind of matches my background so I want to use it today I really love these shadows and I'm not an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow fan um, when they first came out but ever since I think they kind of reformulated their shadows maybe made them a little better because any of the new ones I've swatched are a lot better and like creamier than the old ones so I really like this palette and I want to show you guys how versatile this is in creating this look so I already have my eyes prime though I need to set them um so I'm gonna use the shade right here this is called tempera tempera so I'm gonna grab this shade on a synthetic um large shading brush and I'm just gonna go in and set that lightly so I'm going in with raw sienna and burnt orange right here and I'm gonna mix them together and we're gonna put that all throughout the crease we're just gonna start from inner to outer corner we're also going to bring it kind of on the eyelid. I like to use small circular motions to create a really nice diffused look in the crease. This is probably one of the most important steps because if it's not blended, um, when you go over to layer more things, it's not going to be any more blended and it's just going to get muddier and messier. I also like to pull the shadows out a little bit to give me a little bit more of a cat eye look instead of just stopping it and rounding it off right here. Next we're going in with Real Gar. It's a really pretty burnt orange shade and it's matte as well. All these shades are going to be matte we're using on the eyes. We're going to take this a little bit lower than the other colors and we're going to sweep this from the bottom of the lid to those colors that we just laid down in our crease. And every time I add a new color, I just kind of bring it out softly with some excess product, again, to elongate the eye look. So if you're having blending issues, you can take this color that we set our eye with, and then you can mix it with any of these lighter shades. You can go in, tap off the excess, so it's not too much on there, and just begin to diffuse the edges really lightly. And that will help to blend the whole look together and make it a little softer and not quite as harsh. You can see this is more of a line and this is a little more diffused. I'm going to use a Sigma E25 brush. I'm going in with Real Gar again and I'm just going to deposit more color to the lid and blend it up again to the center of the eye. This is just going to make it pop more on the lid and be a more deep color since after I blended it out it was pretty um, light. So you can tell this is a lot darker and more pigmented, still very blended as opposed to this one. It pretty much looks like the same color. So next is the dreaded wing liner. I really struggled with wing liner. Not that I can't do it. It's just I'm like, you have to make sure you are super focused when you're doing wing liner. So the wing liner product that I swear by is the NYC liquid liner. So the liquid liner I swear by is the NYC liquid liner, but today I'm going to be using the Kat Von D liner because this is the one I used in my most recent um, Instagram photo. And I do really like this, though I do find it easier to do the NYC liner, but this is still a great one, but I wouldn't spend my money on this. I just got in a travel size. Again, it's still a good liner. I just really like the NYC, or the NYC one, and it's three dollars and i'm someone where i will spend the extra money if it's a good product like i want a good product i don't care if it's like cheap and it's a good product but i need it to be as good as this 20 dollar one and the nyc one is amazing so enough rambling about that one go check it out it's at walmart and we're going to use a kat von d one to create a wing 
So this is how I chose to do the wing liner on this side. As long as your wings are even on both sides, you can make your wing longer or more dramatic, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so once you do your liner, I use for glitter. You can obviously use like any kind of glitter that you have or really intense pigment or another liner that you like and then put glitter on top of it but for me what i find to be the easiest and i love these products so it's so worth getting are the touch and soul these are these um like glitter and eyeshadow cream duos they've been all over like instagram and youtube and sephora has been sold out of these these are so amazing first of all the actual product is really good it comes with an amazing cream product on this side that's super pigmented it comes with a really really nice wand as you can tell it's curved you know so it's not like a lipstick it literally has a curve in it which fits your eye perfectly and that's what i also love about the glitter part the glitter is very pretty very reflective um but it's not like a chunky like craft glitter it's like a really pretty reflective glitter and if you guys can tell it's curved again this makes it so so easy to apply with the brush so i love 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 these so i have two of them this is eldora and this is el delio this is like the gold one and this is like the rustic red one so i first originally did the gold one in my look though i'm gonna show you guys the red one today because we're going to lean for a little bit warmer of a look so but still the same technique i'm just using the red one instead of the gold one as you might have seen on my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram please follow me i literally post like i try to post three times a day which i know might be obnoxious but it's like i'm trying to post like really good quality photos so please check me out i do a ton of things from beauty to face paint to products to advice so check me out on instagram you might just find something you like or even inspires you to try so what I'm doing, because this is my personal one, I'm taking a lip brush. I find that lip brushes are literally my new favorite brush. I used to be the person who was like, why would anybody waste their money on a lip brush? Like, that's so silly. But these brushes are so amazing. They're the best eyebrow brushes. They're the best brushes for concealer, for like um shadow detailing for eyeliner like any of those little details these are way better than any like eyeliner brush but back to the tutorial so what we're gonna do is we're literally going over the liner you just really want to take your time with this so i'm grabbing a little bit more product So this is just very subtle. The gold is a little bit more intense. Now we're gonna take the glitter. You can see it's just beautiful. Picking that up with my brush and I'm just going to layer it over the cream. Don't be afraid if it gets a little messy because we're gonna go over the black liner again once we're done. If you have any excess little glitter you can just kick it off with a little um synthetic eyeshadow brush then i'm gonna take a concealer stick and just lightly put some under here and blend it out with a synthetic or if you do have a natural hair brush it will work that way it cleans up any of the edges under the eye so as you guys can tell this difference isn't very like big it's just a subtle liner here okay so now we have the lashes on i use the skater lashes and lash the red um i love this look because right now it looks still like dramatic but the eyes are super easy we still get that glitter and those fall colors so i want to show you guys how we finish off the eyes and then we're going to do the lip so a pencil brush would be really good for under here but 
on my makeup table i just have the blending e25 brush from sigma so that's what i'm gonna use i'm gonna grab these two colors right here it's raw sienna and burnt orange i'm gonna take these colors and kind of smoke out the bottom just a little bit when you're doing a lot of smoke it's gonna look more finished where this looks a little unfinished even though i really do like a um, light under eye like this I think for a more smoky look it looks a little more appropriate when you finish it off with a little color underneath the eye I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with a just a little bit of my light face powder I'm just gonna clean up any excess kind of powder that might have gone too far under the eye and that's all I'm gonna do under there I like a lighter under eye so that's what I like to do so I'm gonna dip into the color Vermeer in I think I'm just going to stick with this one today. It's kind of a pinky shade. So I'm just going to take it on the inner corner. I really like intense inner corner highlight. If you don't, you can just use the same shade we used to set our eyelid with. And I also really like a nice brow bone highlight. Because all the lid shades are matte, I feel like this looks really nice. And it really makes your brow look lifted and stand out. I'm not doing it crazy heavy, though there definitely is a shimmer to the brow. And I'm not doing a lot, but I am blending it down to the rest of the eye look. You can even take that kind of clean um, synthetic brush we've been using and kind of blend it out as well, just to further smooth everything out. So I just wanted to mention the blush that I was using because I feel like it's really good for this look. It's actually from Charlotte Tilbury. It's their Cheek to Chic um, Sex on a Fire blush, and it's just really pretty. I feel like this blush is super unique in color, um, and these blushes are like some of the prettiest, the ones that like don't swatch like amazing and are just kind of like those brown kind of like not really fun looking colors but this is amazing so i would highly recommend her blushes she does a great job with those but next we're going to move on to the lips so right now i just have the agave lip mask by bite beauty which is my favorite i love it so much that a lot of times when i'm done with my looks i just leave it because i love the like natural kind of like glossy look it gives me but because we did a more intense look on the lip we need to do something kind of to balance it out on the lips at least not just like chapstick you know what i mean like it needs to be a little more polished um even if you just put on some lip liner and some chapstick it would still look a little more finished so now everything's off and i'm gonna take the tbt liquid lip paint from tarte this is really nice though it's not liquid lipstick it will come off it is a lip paint a lip cream you know it does not dry matte though i really do like these colors um the formulation might not be for everyone because if you want something that's stay proof this is not it but they're very pigmented so i'm going to take in kind of fill in my lips so i really like this color because it gives you a matte looking lip it's so creamy though you know, it feels good on the lips, but it's pigmented enough you don't need a lip liner, which is really good. Um, and I just really love this color. I like the simple skin, the glittery eyes. And if you want to bump this up one more level, I'm going to show you how you can also add glittery lips, which I do think look really pretty for fall if you do like golden stuff. Um, just because it's fall doesn't mean you only have to wear matte lips. You can definitely transform a matte lip and do something more glossy and glittery that can look really fun so next for the lips i'm gonna take glam gloss aqua Lux. this is by nyx and it is in the shade do the hustle i really like this color because it's super duper glittery and glossy so i'm gonna put this all over the lips I personally am a gloss person, so I love glosses, especially a glittery gold gloss is going to look amazing for fall or winter or any time of the year. Gold is really in all the time. Um, and then next, I'm going to use the Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. This is beautiful, and if you do have a deeper skin tone or you want a deeper looking um, gold shade, they are coming out with a new one. I think it's already launched. So this one's amazing too. It's got kind of like that, like sweet vanilla sugar cookie cake scent. So now you are ready.
ready for fall. I love this look guys, so I hope you do too. It's really easy. Literally the hardest part is the wing liner and you can always use tape. Seriously, try either tape or the NYC liner. It makes it so easy to do eyeliner. I think really that even like taught me how to do eyeliner better because now I feel like I even just have a better rhythm to it. So definitely check that out. I hope you enjoyed this look and you got two lip options today. Thank you again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please check out my Instagram and my Snapchat and my social medias and my blog. I'm really trying to improve myself and I would love it if you guys checked it out and gave me some feedback. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!